Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. Wow, sounds a little bit strange, doesn't it? But I hope you've enjoyed an amazing Christmas time. I hope you've had a really, really magical holiday season all the way through. And I hope that there is many, many magical memories, wonderful moments and lots of things to treasure going on into uh, 2023, of course. And I really, really hope that you got the opportunity to spend time with family, friends, those treasured people in our lives who we love and adore. I really do hope that you had a very, very magical, wonderful Christmas and a very, very happy new year from the bottom of my heart to yours. I really do truly hope that we all have a very, very incredible one, a very healthy one, one full of adventure, happiness and many, many great things to come. Wow, so here we are in 2023. I have taken a bit more of an extended break from my channel, I have to admit, um, and that's just because of lots of things going on. Work has been really, really hectic, very, very full on for me. I'm very, very proud to announce that I've just actually uh, taken and accepted a promotion again. Now, a lot of my subscribers will know that I actually had a promotion only three short months ago. Um, and uh, I was very overjoyed over the moon with that. And then I, I, this opportunity came up. I work in finance and accountancy, and I've worked really, really hard in my career. Um, and I seen this role in the same company organization which I work in, and it was more responsibility, um, more of a salary. So of course that's money isn't everything, but of course it helps us get to where we want to be in this life. And of course um, there was a lot more responsibility, a lot more different sort of exposure, a lot more experience to be had. I seen this role come up, I applied for it. It was a very long process, very hard process. The interview was difficult, but apparently I exceeded that and I done incredibly well. Um, out of 20 candidates, can you believe? And I got the job and I'm very pleased to say that I start that role in February. So I'm very, very pleased with that. It's still in finance and accountancy. Um, again, I'll be working on an incredibly uh, new project. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the role I'm in just because of the nature of the industry I work in. However, I'm very over the moon and thank you very, very much for the encouraging comments which I received when I know um, I spoke about applying for this role and, and about how I was feeling about it. So thank you very, very much indeed for that as well. On the back of that, going into 2023, um, there is a lot of, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of worry going on at the moment. So my dear mum, who is my absolute world, my very, very best friend, as my dad is, and as my dear nan was, but now of course she is up in heaven above, and she is here, always, in my heart. I have down days, but um, yeah, she's always here, and she's watching over, over us all. Um, and I know she'd be beside herself, knowing that my mum's got to go through quite major surgery in the next coming week. So January for us, um, we're a very close family. My parents are everything to me. As you can tell from my nan is everything to me as well. And um, she's, mum's actually going for surgery uh, on the 20th of this month. So um, yeah, we took an extended break at Christmas and we just tried to make it extra special for her as well, because of course there's a lot of worry and fear on any type of surgery, but the type of surgery which mum's going for, which I won't go into because that's my, um, I've always been very, very private of my family members and, and of their own lives. Um, and it's, it is up to my mum, uh, of who she tells and who she shares. And I respect that. And, um, but she's going for quite major surgery. So I'll be taking a break from my channel and, um, I, in the last five years, have had about four operations, um, with my groin being reconstructed and quite different major surgeries myself. And um, I, I got through that, um, and my mum and dad were there all the way. So um, my mum was incredible with that. So I'm taking some time out to be able to make sure that she will have a speedy recovery and assist her recovery in that as well. So that's going to be happening in January. Oh, of course, there's birthdays going on. I've got a very dear aunt of mine. Her birthday's at the end of the month as well. I've got one of my, my best mates' birthday is today. So, uh, yeah, he's 30 today. So very happy birthday to him. Um, lots going on, of course. A new year. Lots of adventures to be had. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 30 this year in July. Um, so I'm going to be coming up with some plans and things. I was going to be having quite a huge holiday with the whole family going. But because of mum's surgery, we're going to be changing our plans a little bit for that as well. Um, but there will be some trips, hopefully a lot of adventure going on this year as well. Who knows? I always say this every year to my brothers, but um, I'm getting to that stage in my life where you could say I'm kind of getting itchy feet with where I am in my life. Um, of course, I don't have a girlfriend. I've not got a beautiful fiancé on my arm at the moment, the incredible house or anything like that at all. But um, through health problems in one thing or another, um, I've been pretty much isolated from that area of my life really. So you never know, hopefully. 
this time next year I could even be married, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'd love a family and everything like that, but I know I'm jumping the gun there a little bit, and all these things take time, but it's nice to have these things, isn't it, in life as well, to sort of aim for, um, so who knows on that front, um, but that's that's something possibly, hopefully, this year to look forward to, especially going into my 30th year as well. Um, in terms of the channel, let's swing things around onto that now. So in terms of the channel, I'd love to be bringing you a lot more products in regards to keeping the thickest and fullest hair possible. So 2022, I lost a lot of hair between the months of May um, and for a good four months. Um, and I really tried a whole lot of all different things. And from my channel, you'll know that I got a lot of... Uh, a lot of a lot of great support from a lot of my subscribers which was amazing so thank you from the bottom of my heart for that the products which i found really really worked for me were the neoxin system uh the progressive uh thinning uh shampoo conditioner i actually got in large sizes for christmas i'm already using those so we're we will teeth back in we will be reviewing those shortly um, but the Neoxin system I've been using for natural light thinning shampoo conditioner for my hair and the nighttime uh, density serum and the anti hair loss with sandal oil spray in the day. Very expensive, so I was using those and as we've gone into January now I've ran out of those two products, the night and day system. And I'm going to probably come away from that now and try some other different products just because they are extremely expensive. And I want to be open and honest with you. Of course, in a cost of living crisis in the Western world, in the UK, America, and across a lot of parts of the, the world, things are going up. It is more and more expensive to buy, uh, to live, sorry, and to buy these things as luxuries. Um, it is a lot. So I want to come away from that because I'm spending an awful lot of money on that. Um, as you can probably see now, because I'm quite happy to brush it all back now, that in here and not use any of the sort of products which I was using to cover it up. Um, but in here, you can see that I had the loss probably here and it's growing back through. Do you know what? I can comfortably sort of pull my hairline around here a little bit now. And I'm quite sort of happy with how it's gone. Um, so that's really, really great. I've been supplementing my hair and my health with a product called Hair Gain. Um, and that is really, really a great product. And I've been using that now, I would say, for about six weeks. Um, we're going to be, and the reason why I didn't capture this um, at one month, two months, three months, because I want to, I take, I took a picture when I first started this, and I want to show you at three months, so it's not going to be coming up just yet, but at three months, and I want to actually show you a clear, hopefully a clear definition of the change. So that's going to be coming up as well. So a lot on hair this year, hopefully. Um, skin care we'll be concentrating on as well. You never know, I may be looking at the shaving. Um, as well, I've often said that to my subscribers. And that's probably the worst. I'm terrible at shaving. And I get a lot of issues here on this part of my skin. So we'll be looking at that as well this year. Um, health, we'll be capturing that on my channel as well. So I've had some recent examinations and things through seizures, um, vertigo, hearing loss, one thing or another. We're not going to touch on it in great depth, but we'll be doing some general health updates as well. Monday, scarily. <laughs> so when I uh, when I was 18, I had braces, so the traditional metal braces which I had. I had them done privately because I made the silly decision not to have them whilst I was at school. Here in this country, uh, we're blessed that under the NHS, under the age of 18, you can have dental uh, braces, of course, um, to, to help you, of course, with your uh, with overcrowding, one thing or another, and overbite, underbite. And um, I never had them then, so when I left at 18, uh, I have braces and then in the last two years my teeth have slightly changed since then i'm now 29 i've wore a retainer most nights um but i've got some changing on the structure of my mouth um which is a little bit disappointing so on monday so it's saturday the 7th of january now on monday i'm actually having some invisaligns uh set up for me i've been having a whole host of all different appointments for that as well so that would be really really great we'll be talking about that on my channel this year as well going forward lots of products lots of inspiration we'll be talking about as well and lots of motivation in this life because at the end of the day nobody is promised a tomorrow so don't waste one second of this life and we all have down moments so i will be putting a lot of different clips on my channel this year to help my friends my subscribers every single person that watches this even one second i will be putting motivational clips and things together to be able to help every single one which comes to contact with me everyone who views my channel to be able to help you on your way to living the most positive most happy and to really grab every single moment of this life and really value it and really run with it um yeah so lots of great things to come
So thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for watching this clip. Thank you very much for all of my subscribers and a very, very happy new year and a very happy 2023, hopefully to come for all of us. Let's hope it's a healthy year, a bright year, a positive one, full of many, many great, wonderful things to come. I hope you've had a really, really great Christmas season. I hope you enjoyed the celebrations for the new year. And now let's really get going. I know January seems to be a bit of a bleak and a bit of a, uh, a sort of a flat month for everyone. So let's really try and concentrate and sort of um, let's make it sort of happy. Let's really do something spontaneous. It doesn't have to be expensive. Your loved ones, perhaps you've just had Christmas, perhaps you didn't get to see somebody who you really wish you had. Do it in January. Just because Christmas is gone, just because all of those festivities are just gone and past us now, doesn't mean to say you can't have your own celebration in January. There's so many things in this incredible life to be able to cherish and to be able to celebrate. Sometimes just your loved ones around you is enough to celebrate. So why not, even if it's just of an afternoon or on a Saturday or a Sunday morning, do something special. Open something nice. It could be a bottle of something nice of an afternoon. Share it with friends. Share it with family. Watch something great. Do you know what? There is so much to celebrate in this life. Do something special. Perhaps even just a spontaneous trip somewhere for a day out. There's so many incredible things you can do. And not actually having to spend too much money as well. The last thing I'd like to leave this clip as well is, as I say, I hope you've had a great Christmas season. And I hope the new year will be kind to us all. I'd like to turn and take a moment, and faith means a lot to me, and I'd like to turn this uh, this clip just for a second, just to hope that actually, that in my prayers, that I always uh, wish my family and my friends um, dear, and I wish them uh, encouragement and I wish them safety and I wish them good health and prosperity and guidance in this life from the Lord above. And if you're watching this, I do truly hope that you will join me. And in this, in just a moment, um, just about my head, I really do wish and I, and I hope that, um, you'll join me in this, that actually, um, in prayer that actually, dear Lord above, um, whilst I'm on my channel when I'm doing this clip, I pray to you, Lord, and I, I hope that in this year going ahead that you will watch over me and my family and my friends, my subscribers. I hope that you will bless us and I hope that you will guide us. I hope you will encourage us to be kind to others, to love others, to think of others more than ourselves, but to take care of those around us and to take the small moments in this life, not for granted and to cherish them and to, to take them at full and to enjoy every single moment in this life. Please help us to be good, Lord. Please help us to always make the right decisions. Please help us to be encouraged by others and to help others. Please help us to live a good life, a full life, and a valued life. Thank you very, very much, Lord. Thank you. From my heart to yours, thank you very much. And thank you, my subscribers, for joining me on that. A very, very happy new year to you. God bless and take great care. Bye for now.